Hi Big Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a Western Kentucky cornfield where a John Deere 5830 self-propelled forge harvester is chopping corn to feed beef cattle. We're going to spend some time up in the cab of this classic 1980s self-propelled forge harvester to see the operator's perspective of chopping corn with it. We'll also talk about the machine's specifications and production history as it was the largest forge harvester available from John Deere over 30 years ago. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear all this classic corn chopping action.
run on the scooper head. Really lock. No any direction. Seems to work good the tires. You have noticed that you top the field, you're going a lot of different directions and probably makes it go faster. Yes. Uh, I'll have to follow it every row in a bit. Up in the cab we saw the Kemper head in action. This is a Champion 3000 model capable of harvesting four rows of corn or 10 feet of corn because it is row independent. Most often when you hear people talking about a row independent head they use the term Kemper. Kemper was one of the original companies to build a row independent header like this and John Deere acquired the brand in the 1990s. <laughs> Here's a good example of how sharp the Kemper head is. We've got a cob of corn here. I'll pick it up. You can see how it just sliced right through that. You know, that's a pretty hard substance and it just slices right through it. Very impressive machine. Let's take a brief look at the specifications and production history of the 5830 self-propelled forge harvester. It was manufactured from 1986 through 1993 and saw a transition of John Deere self-propelled forge harvester production from Ottumwa, Iowa to Zweibruck in Germany. The machine weighed in at 15,047 pounds from the factory and the original price tag of this forge harvester was $122,844. It had a variety of different harvesting heads available. There was a 7 foot windrow hay pickup for $5,042. There was a 4 row corn head available for $20,587 and a 12 foot mower bar could be added for $12,860. As we take a look at the specifications of the 5830 self-propelled forge harvester, we can see how it processes the crop from this cutaway drawing. It utilizes a 24-inch cutter head. It's equipped with 40 knives that are 5 inches by 3 inches, set up in a helical pattern made of tungsten carbide. Those knives chop up the corn and the cobs and process it into the silage that then goes up through the blower pipe into the wagon or waiting truck. This machine features a hydrostatic propelling drive and features a four speed spur gear type transmission and has a top speed of 15 miles per hour. It also features hydrostatic power steering and an adjustable rear axle. It's equipped with a 147 gallon diesel fuel tank. The 5830 is powered by a 10.1 liter 619 cubic inch John Deere engine rated at 290 horsepower. This six cylinder power plant was also utilized in the John Deere 8650 four wheel drive tractor that was manufactured during much of the same time period as the 58. 30 self-propelled forge harvester. The 8650 was rated at 290 engine horsepower and 235 PTO horsepower.
This farm is utilizing two dump trucks as well as this modified dump truck body that is pulled by a John Deere 7230. We can watch the 7230 dump out the corn silage back at the feed bunker. We'll watch a John Deere 6125R tractor and 7230 tractor pushing up the corn silage into the pile using their loaders. Back at the field, the 5830 is opening up a new section of corn, and that requires the dump truck to run directly behind the chopper rather than being filled from its right-hand side. The spout is moved to the center and is shooting over the cab of the dump truck right into its bed, and this allows them to make that first pass along the edge of the trees before they can return to side filling. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with this John Deere 5830 self-propelled forge harvester. If you would like to see more videos like this one, I hope you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Also, click on the notifications bell so you won't miss another episode of Big Tractor Power as new videos are released from the channel almost every day. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. 
If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.